I tend to, to find myself a little bit frazzled trying to figure out which keyboard shortcuts I should be trying to use to, to pause, stop, or cancel Loom. I don't tend to like to have these buttons over here, especially if I'm demonstrating a piece of software. Um, and so while I was actually hanging out at the Loom product roadmap uh, site and making a few comments on things that I'd love to see and what uh, you know what I would be nice and what would be critical, it occurred to me, what if I used my... A uh, number pad and just you know number pad number lock on and tap the numbers now that didn't work so what I did find and if you can just excuse me for a second I'll just bring this across so what I did find in the settings can I get you here we go is that I could use shift and this is actually one two three and I used a full stop so to stop I'll just go shift and number one on the keypad to pause I'll go shift and two to cancel shift and three and then I'll just go down to shift and full stop or delete to do the celebration and I think over time I'll actually get that nicely locked in so uh, let's just take this page and pop it out of the way and then you can see that I just feel like I'm just just starting to get um, my my skills in Loom just tidied up nicely. There we go. Right, let's do another um, another quick celebration, and then I will go Shift and One to stop this video.